That's a spirit making that noise. For sale! <laughs> he sold his wife! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> chin up, chin up, darling. That's it. I'll be tied like that. Oof. It was just, it was just so you cannot put your head down. In this investigation, we have decided to visit the small and picturesque fishing village of Pitt and Wheen in the east coast of Scotland, where fishing boats scramble for a position in its busy harbour and is currently occupied by around 1,600 people. Despite having found the area and its occupants very welcoming, that is not the only reason we decided to venture out 70 miles from where we're based to visit this location. In five years time from the date of this video, Pitt and Wheen becomes home to a 400 year old tool booth that is enriched with four centuries of dark history. A few centuries ago, at least 26 women were prisoned and tortured in this building under the accusation of them being witches. Nowadays the toll booth is open to visitors who wish to indulge in a tour of the gruesome history of the tower. During these tours, many strange occurrences have been witnessed by the tourists as well as the tour guide. As a group, and given our interest in the paranormal, we have decided to experience the tour for ourselves and carry out investigation of the location to hopefully catch some paranormal activity of this historical building for ourselves. A wee torch? Uh, yeah. Oh, you want oh, one? I have got one, she's got one. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, man. Had we started at the right time tonight, you would have been right under that now. Oh. <laughs> With wet pants. <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan, but never mind. <laughs> right, um, this is the Mean Witch Tour. My name's uh, Leonard Lowe. I've been doing this tour for uh, since 2006. This building was built in 1620. It's five floors. We have a dungeon round the back. This is the this would have been the council chamber. 
simply because Pit and Weem at that time was the 12th richest area of Scotland. This place was loaded. It was a market town. It was. Uh, it had a walled, a walled enclosure right round it. There's only two entrances, one here and one down by the harbour. In here, we'd sit a big flat table, and you'd have the 10 richest people of the town sitting round this table. They were all the town baileys. They all be given the title town baileys. And what we have here, this, the, the, there's a door that's plastered over here. Um, this door here, uh, last man to sit down, coming through there from the church would be the minister in his robes. So he'd be the last man to come through here in his red robes, sit down. Now nothing, no, nothing got past the minister. He was the final say. He was the chief of the court here, and it was a court. This is what it was all about. Poor Mrs. Shield was in the dungeon. Came up here. She was addressed by the council and the minister, and she got fined for scolding her husband loudly in public. That was enough to have her fined. <coughs> scolding your husband in public. Is that like shouting? Shouting. Yeah. Can't have it. No, women. Women were third base people. Um, they had no rights. Your cow was more important than your wife was. Um, I'm serious. Um, you you marry a man. And you have his children. the world's changed. You, 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 you marry a man and you have his children. His children have his name, but you wouldn't get it. That never happened until 18, 1820. So, this is a problem when you're chasing up your ancestors for a woman, it's really hard to find them because they, all they have is their maiden name. They never got any better than that. So I've got a guy in Edinburgh who um, got hold of his wife one day. This is uh, 1706. Um, he, he got his wife one day and says, You want to go down the market to. to Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So she put on her best dress and says, no, no, keep on something a bit better. Like, oh, no problem. So she puts on her better dress. And he goes, like, let's go down the market. So we went down the market. She's having such a great day until she reached the marketplace. And he puts a sign on her neck saying, for sale. <laughs> <laughs> he sold his wife. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that, I mean, women, you're allowed to beat your women. I mean, legally, you could beat the crap out of your women if you're married to her. You know, that's the law. The women were so downtrodden. And this is, this is one thing about the witch hunts, because women were easy pickings. Women were defenceless. Women couldn't have a judge. They couldn't have legal rep representation. They had to be told. They weren't educated. They couldn't read. So there was if, never, ever a man witch? Oh, yes. Yeah, you, the, there was two men witches here, right, which okay. you hear about. But uh, So you know, this, is, this, is the, this is the restraints that women had to behave. So this poor woman's been caught in the street shouting at her husband and she's been brought here and fined. Um, a book on torture, a book, the Malleus Maleficarum, on how to find a witch, determine if it's a witch, how to destroy a witch. This is what this book, a big thick thing like this is. And this is, this is where we, we, we go our next step, up the stairs. Um, if you want to lead on upstairs and we'll carry on uh, in detail. I'll be right with you. Right, okay. okay. That looks pretty nasty, doesn't it? Um, I've already spoke to where's Elaine. Lisa? Lisa, sorry, <laughs> the two Lisas. Um, I used to normally stand at that window there. Who's Lisa? Over here. Who is telling me? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is where I normally used to lecture. Just roaming around, taking uh, this This is where I normally used to talk. Right. Until well, these accidents started happening. Right. And that's why I stand at the door now. Okay? <laughs> Did you hear that? No. I heard about you. It's <laughs> wrong. It's wrong. It's not it. That was steps. There was steps going across. Just keep your ears open. We get, this, get that quite a little bit. Uh, all the time. But, but we get conversations going. Two yeah. folk talking up there. Just 
just to, but um, the Melis Nilificarum. I'm going to read you a tract from it, which which just sums up the whole book. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman, because woman was made from Adam's rib in Eden. The rib is bent, therefore so are women. <laughs> It shows the crookedness of women, and they are quicker to waver in their faith. They possess weak memories. They vindicate themselves by the act of witchcraft. What else is woman but a foe to friendship, a necessary evil, a natural temptation, a delectable determent, an evil of nature painted with fair covers? And that's got this. This book goes on and on and on in that same uh, method. I can, can hear. Can you? Well, I don't know if it's. I can't hear on the I, I thought it was uh, one of you guys. It's like, do-do. Aye. I, I can hear. Can you? Well, I don't know if it's... I can hear. Can you? Well, I don't know if it's... But it... It, it gets the... See, it felt lower. You see, you see we've got metal. There used to be... There used to be doors here. Every, everyone needs a door. Because uh, there's a jail cell. Each one's a jail cell. And uh, if I set recorders up here at night, mm -hmm. you can hear the footsteps. Clump, 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 clump. Mm -hmm. Good dunk. Clump, clump. Somebody's going up the stairs shutting the old doors. And it's, it's, it gets to the point where it's boring. We, mm -hmm. just, we get it all the time. Queen Elizabeth I in England endorsed the Witchcraft Act in 1562. Six months later, she was Protestant. Six months later, her Catholic cousin, um, Mary Queen of Scots, endorsed it likewise. So it had no no differences in the religion, it was just uh, and you'll find out why now. Now they um, they found the first witches in Pitamim in 1593. In 1593 they found the minister of Nicol Douglish, I've got to read this because my name's, Fried Gunter never made it out of this building alive, she was tortured to death. She was the first one to die in this building but she wouldn't be the last. Now, uh, here we get to the exciting part. I need you. <laughs> I need you to come. No, you do. You do. Are oh, you filming? You filming? Yeah. Uh, I need you. To come over here. Come over here. Now, there's no point in going further on unless you know the the Turn around. Turn around. Faces. Faces. That's good. Now, have, you, have you got a black cat? No. You got a black dog? No. Have you ever spoken to a man that was black? Aha! Hesitation. <laughs> the devil is in this child. A hesitation straight away. You must like your smell. I smell that over there as well. What, what it's like? It's tobacco. Mm -hmm. oh. I smell like cigarette smoke. Okay, well absolutely nobody smokes in here, I tell you that much. I'm actually getting in there. Isn't it quite useless? Strong. Is it like cigar? Maybe vanilla? Pipe? Pipe, that's what oh, it's like a tobacco way. Smell. I could smell it over there, but just you smell it. Well, this is unusual because we've never had this before. This is unusual. I only just caught it just about a few minutes ago. I don't smoke. What after shave you got on? I'm not the after, <laughs> after shave. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> not the after shave. I'm not a smoker whatsoever. Yeah, what do you order? Aye. What do you order? Eh. Blanks. It doesn't smell like that. Aye, right, Lisa. Well, anyway, I'll carry on. I'll carry on. We'll see. So, anyway, um, we brought you in and uh, we've got the council behind me here, so. Are you a witch? No. Aha! <laughs> denial. <laughs> denial. Denial. Now, what, 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 this, what this means now is uh, we, we've asked you a direct question that you've denied, and uh, we'll discuss things downstairs a bit further, but we come to the point that um, there's a process to go through here for sure. So what we do is um, we bring you into this room. You'd be, you'd be sat down in a chair here, and you'd, you'd go through the torture process. Now, first of all, I've got to put you in manacles, because, you, you know, you might use all your... i get a picture of this. <laughs> Save it for a minute, honestly. It's coming. <laughs> so we need to put you in these, I'm afraid. Uh, this is all part of the uh, God's work, I'm afraid. There you go. Right, we've got these on you. These are real, by the way. Proper 17th century. And uh, what? So they were actually on a witch. Yeah, and uh, well, these these are these are a bit more modern. But uh, what these are is thumb screws. So oh, I need, I need, one, yes. I need two, two, two thumbs in here, please. Mm -hmm. Two thumbs in here, and uh, but basically, what what I'm wanting from you is a confession. You see, um, I, I want to I'll, I'll just tell me when to stop. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. I'll stop there, yeah? mm -hmm. right? Okay. Now, what we do is um, 
we'll, we'll put these on here. This is just a, they, they, would, they would be breaking your fingers and thumbs. But uh, and uh, we'd also well, this this is real as well. But I won't put this in your mouth. What this is is um, is it called a bridal scold? This would go around your mouth. You see, but but you see, we'll, we'd be asking you questions. And uh, of course, you're not giving us the answers we need, and uh, you go through a state of exhaustion. But um, what we've got to do is uh, we're, we're going to the rules of the Melius Maleficarum. Now, what we've got to do, we've got to strip you naked, right? Oh. Yeah, we've got to strip you naked. <laughs> so we've, we've stripped you naked, right? I'm not going to do it to you, but we've stripped you naked and we've searched it. Now, what we're looking for is a mark on your body, it's a third nipple, right? We're looking for a third nibble. Oh, any, you're any, any, um, <laughs> any secret information? But anyway, the, the uh, third nipple, we've, we've searched it, and no, you've not got in like a third nipple. A third nipple is what we'd feed your familiars, your little devils, your little, your little um, mice, rats, cats, bats, whatever you send out to do your magic, we'd be suckling off you, you see. That's what we're looking for. We've not seen it. So what we've got to do now, we've got to take your hair off. So we put paraffin in your hair, and put a match there. <laughs> Under here. <laughs> and down here as well. <laughs> and then we search again. So we're searching again. You're totally bald, you're totally naked. We can't find it, it's not there. So this is this is this is a shame, because you know, you make a fool of us now. Uh, but any time you want, you could you could say stop, I'm a witch, and you'll mm. sign a confession. So um we So would, we would keep on torturing them and yeah. humiliation but, until they admit. Just make make us we haven't got started yet. We've not got started. Now what what we do is um we would tie a rope around your head and uh, a man would stand in the middle of the room, the room here and he'd have this device yes. here. This is, this is a witch's goad. This is a witch's goad. It's a paddle with massive big nails in it. They're not sharp nails. They're, they're, they're nails to, to bruise, nails to hurt. Basically, you'd be dragged around the walls, round the walls, round the walls. And when we get bored, you get a whack in the back with this. It's buddhish. Right, bang, 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 bang. This will go on for hours, hours and hours and hours. And then, uh, oh, I'm a bit tired, you know. I've been doing this for all day. And uh, so we've got, we've, got to, we've got to tie up for the night. So what we do is, uh, this is called the witch's thing. This will go in here, round your neck. Oh, sorry, the wrong around. This will go in here and, and round, round your head like that. You see, you want a photograph of that? <laughs> More of this later. <laughs> Okay, now you see there's a wee hole here. That, on this wee hole here, we'd have a metal, a metal kind of lip, that would, a metal peg, it'd go through here on top of your tongue, you see? And have a hole in it. So we'd do a padlock here, and so you can't shout, because you're boring us, you see? And uh, well, your screams. And uh, so that would be on you. And it would have this thing, this is a devil's forks, this is a horrible thing. Um, basically, you'd be tied with, the, the, with this neck brace, I said already, the jugs. Um, so you can't sit down, it's all to do with exhaustion. So what we've got here is uh, this other device which will be tied around your neck, tied around it with leather straps. Chin up, chin up darling, that's it. that will be tied like that. Oof. It, was just, it was just so you cannot put your head down. It would pierce your chin. This is, this is uh, the devil's forks, this is real as well. Okay, now the whole of this procedure is to make her life as uncomfortable as possible. She's never going to get How a break. How comfortable are you feeling right now? Um, feels <laughs> <laughs> I forget if she's still got there, boy. vulnerable. No, 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 no. <laughs> here comes a good bit. Um, now, you still haven't confessed. It's like three days into the business. Uh, you've had no sleep yet, but you're doing great. You're, 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 you haven't confessed. So now comes the time. We've, we've searched your body. We've not found this mark. The mark's not on you. Could the mark be in you? Now, um, this is an employment. This would cost more money. Um, we'd bring out a guy here called a witch pricker. Now, the witch pricker would arrive with his two servants. He'd wash himself down, have beer. Sometimes he got brand new shoes bought from you know little trinkets to make him happy. And he'd come in. Now he's to deal with you. Now he'd bring out this device. This is a witch's pricker. Okay. Now, if the mark's not on your skin, it's in your skin. So now with this device. We're going to be sticking it into you. Now, in the, in the rules of the Melius Maleficarum, um, there's, a, there's a spot on your body that is numb to pain. So we've got to find it. If we find this mark uh, that, that's, that's numb to pain, then we've, we've got we've proof of a witch. So we'll, we'll go through the body. Now this will pierce your in, inches into your skin all over. We'll start in your mouth, we'll work down your neck, all of your breasts and stuff, and it, it, it's, it'll be bloody agony. I mean, I mean, it's, ooh, you know. Uh, but we're coming to a point where um, 
if I, you, you got to be serious with if I, if I, if I prick you, <laughs> if I prick you in steady, if I, if I prick you in a, in a circle, you're never going to feel the middle one. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's all the proof I need. Witnessed by whoever you saw that, she never screamed. Mm. She never screamed. Indefensible proof that we have a witch in our premises. Now, um, well, I'll just take this off you because... Uh, Why even if they had a birthmark? That's, that's, you, that's, you've saved me the job. So if I, like, if I, if I was one of them and I, they seen that, they would automatically yeah, assume I was a witch. Oh, you're not hurt, Hen. <laughs> You're knackered. You've, you've, God, there wasn't a but we're not. We've just, we, we just, we just had a, a, an open uh, confession from you with uh, unde, unde, undeniable proof that you can, you can come here now. Uh, unde, undeniable proof that your partner here is has been found to be a witch. So um, we'll, we'll take you downstairs, and once you've signed that, you're doomed. You've had it. It's, we've, we've got a witch, a witch must be disposed of, and that's what the next point is. Did they ever ask to, them for the witches to demonstrate anything that they've done? Or Never, no, no, no. See, that would be... Do you think they just confess to get away from the torture? Or? Well, how long would you last? Mm -hmm. how, long, how long have you gone without sleep? Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. sick. The, 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 no, 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 here we go, listen. The, 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 um, the 1643 witches, um, they were all taken outside. There was uh, an armed guard of 50 men waiting for them outside. They were marched, uh, tied, taken to burning pyres, and the whole village watched as they burned. They, they were strangled and burned. And um, you just watched. You just watched your partner burning to death. Um, bur burning to death. Uh, your kids and you know, devastated. Absolutely so the devastated. partner wouldn't get punished. Uh, wait, 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 just wait. wait, wait. <laughs> you're, 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 uh, you're not. Just listen. You just, just, just watched your partner burn to death, and um, I'm the minister still. I'm the minister, so you're my first port of call next morning. So I come round to you and I go, "Hi, hey, yeah, we did, did God's work yesterday. Uh, how are the kids? Great, great, great. Everything fine. Magic, magic. Okay. Here's the bill for burning your partner. Okay. And the reason your bill is so long, because you were the first witch I brought in here, you took the longest to break, you see. You took a week. Mm -hmm. So that's why she's so, so expensive. Mm -hmm. The other ones took one look at what we did to her. The, th the ones that came in took one look at her and confessed. So they, they, their husbands will get smaller bills. But it's not finished yet. In the rules of the Melius Maleficarum, anyone cohabiting, abetting, or, or, or living with a witch would also be classified as one also. And, uh, but not in such stricter terms. Basically, your house, your farm, your property, anything you own now belongs to me. And you can just go. You're banished. Banished from the town and forever. And uh, for me to banish you from here, you'd be very lucky if another parish brings you in because you've just associated with a witch. You will die in, you will die in, the, t in, in the wastelands out there as a waif and a stray. That's what I've just condemned you to. But <coughs> your property now comes to me and the church. And that's why today, today the church is the biggest landowner in Britain for the thousands and thousands of witches they found and, and accused in this country and uh, pocketed the money. This is why next door they don't like talking about this. This is why I was chased out of the church for bringing up the subject of witches and witchcraft in the house of God. They don't like talking about it. <laughs> Even till last day. Yes. 1589, uh, the Archbishop of St Andrews, uh, Pat Patrick Adamson, um, he had a sexual disease. The dirty bastard. <laughs> that was like a sexual disease. And he, um, he couldn't cure it. He, the, the, what doctors he knew in St Andrews, uh, all, all they dealt with was bleeding. That's all the Bible allowed. But the thing is, these pagans and Wiccans dealt in medicines. Mushrooms, medicines, the bark of a willow tree. He boiled in the bark of a willow tree. It's a natural aspirin. You know, you, the, the, you, know, you, can, you, you use, the, use the leaves of, of a conquer tree. You can make soap and stuff. Mm -hmm. this, is, this, is, this is what they used to deal with. He spoke to the ill Archbishop of St Andrews and told him, I know somebody could maybe, my, daughter, my, my granddaughter's pretty good at this. So she, she and her pal, her pal Alison Pearson went to uh, St Andrews and started working on them. Now they used the flower foxglove. The foxglove is, is what sh we, we, we get a, a chemical from the foxglove which is now known as digitalis, which is now used in heart transplants. It thins the blood and it takes the water out of your system. 
So I guess you're ready for an operation. They, they still use it today. Now that's what she she made tea and, and, and she mashed down the foxglove bulb and the flower and she gave it to the, the archbishop and she cured him. She cured the archbishop. Cured the archbishop when nobody could cure him. The woman was gifted. And uh, her, her um, reward for this was to be accused of witchcraft. It was said he put his hand on her and then put his hand on, on uh, the man's horse. His horse took sick and died. That was her transferring the disease from him to the horse. And that was enough to have her charge of witchcraft and she was burnt at the stake in St Andrews. This, you know, the church, the church repressed medical advancement for 300 years and that's without a doubt. And this is what we're up against. Um, in, the, in these days of knowledge. Um, now, we're going to go up to the next floor. And, That's uh, a quick question. What would happen if a witch never gave in? She would die. So they would just kill her anyway? Uh, she would die. I mean, okay. That's why, um, I've already mentioned one witch died here. Uh, Freak Gunter died here. She was tortured to death. It would go I on see. and on and on. And you just think, how long could you last? I mean, you know, every now and again we're screaming at you to sign a confession. Screaming, screaming made up um, things that you're meant to have done. You know, before you know it, you, you'll sign it. Now, you want to move up to the next floor and we can kickstart um, our um, 1704 witches. <laughs> now, in, in 1704, meet Janet. This is Janet up here. She's uh, she's good for laughing. Oh, jeez. She touched that one. I just wondered where it was. I thought it was somewhere higher. Now, just like in the 1800s, if you wanted to entertain your, your girlfriend for a, for, a, for a Saturday afternoon or whatever, um, what you did is you put on your best clothes and you, 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 your, your bowler hats or whatever and out you went and you, you took your partner to the mental asylum. You took to the mental asylum because you could laugh at the lunatics. It was a great entertainment to go, <laughs> look at him, <laughs> look at that one. And that's what you do. But uh, so, so um, the same thing was going on here. It was big business. You could pay your money downstairs, come upstairs and have a witch sat down in front of you close the door and you could ask her questions. You and your girlfriend could you oh gosh, you did what? Well a cat, oh my god, you know. And, and uh, you, you, you ruined the harvest and you sank a boat and you know, all the fears of the day. And, uh, and it was great entertainment but it was big business. Now, outside, you've got to understand, there's got to be a burning. Word has spread through all the villages and towns that they've got eight witches here. There's going to be a burning. Outside, they're baking cakes, they're knitting jerseys. It's like a market. There's going to be a lot of people in the town. There's not a room to be spared. They had five taverns in the pub, in, 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 five pubs in the place. Every pub was taken up. There, all the rooms were booked because there's going to be. It was big entertainment. Big a witch getting burnt was great fun. And uh, if you want to follow me. <coughs> Look at the left, look at the left of us here. This building here, that's the monastery. That monastery. You see the green grass in the, in the monastery there? That's where they burnt the witches in, in, in uh, 1643. Just there. Right, right there. Um, what we're looking at there, that building is 1100, would you believe? That's the old monastery there. One of the oldest buildings in Pitweed. You're looking at, you're looking at the, the, the new harbour here, but the harbour we're talking about is way over here. Way over that way. <laughs> on, a, on a good day you can see Edinburgh from here. Yeah. Uh, it's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> see if we just 
two minutes later, we'd have uh, had a laugh. It started with uh, six months into doing the tour when a team of French Canadians here and uh, we went from one floor to the next and uh, one of them said to me, nobody seemed to wait on the old man downstairs, looked very frail, big tall guy with sideburns. I said he's not on the tour, I don't know if you're on about self search, not there. They had a picture of him, they had a photograph in the group, standing behind the group. This, uh, without, it was the clearest picture I've seen. And it was a tall man with sideburns staring right at the camera, mm -hmm. it was brilliant. But they took it away with them to, to Canada, so you know, I, I wasn't prepared for that. But anyway, um, that's the story I give. Now I did that in February this year, and uh, a woman in the group burst into tears and left the group. And I thought, oh, what's going on? And uh, it wasn't until next day I got a letter, email from her saying, you got to the end of the tour, loved the tour, um, you gave the story about the old man with sideburns. It says, I have to say that you came out the tower, we were all standing in the graveyard. You came out the tower and out the tower behind you was standing a tall man with sideburns in a long jacket. I, I didn't think anything of it because I thought he was part of the tour. Mm -hmm. It's only when you said this thing at the end, I've seen this man tonight. And I went, wow, that's brilliant for me. And she was so shook up about it. She said, I don't believe in ghosts, I don't believe in anything like that, but I saw what I saw. And I, I can't believe, you know, she was really shook up. Then two weeks later, I did another tour. Tour went, there's clockwork, I'm outside, 15 folk, I'm signing some books for somebody. My mate standing just the bottom of the stairs, there screams, ah, bloody hell, bloody hell. And I was, what's, what's up with you? He goes, I'm not joking, I thought you were standing next to me. And I turned around and saw you at the gate, and I turned around again, Here's a tall man with sideburns and a long big jacket. And he, he was like this, he was like this. So I went, oh Christ, so I got my camera, I always got a camera on me. And I went flash, 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 walked through the graveyard, flash, 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 flash. And I went through all my photographs, and this is the one that stands out. Um, that's looking, that's looking at the, 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 you've got the tabletop grave. And what's standing here? Face. Let's, let's zoom in on that. Hat, jacket, face. There's a whole figure there. Peaked hat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you see that? Oh, it's like a shout. That's what I mean. It's like a shout. Yeah, yeah. it's my song. But um, this, this, these are the ones that um, uh, you'll get to know me. Now, these, these are the ones I'm, I'm fairly famous for from. It's more of that I'm looking at. You're looking yeah. at his hand. That's his hand. Mm. He's standing like that. The, the thing is, it would be but what you do here is it's so unexpected. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's unexpected. I've walked down the stairs here. Uh, we're showing a newspaper guy around. His newspaper down, walking down, walking down, and he suddenly. I mean, it's what, eleven o'clock in the morning. He screamed and backed into me, and I'm going, whoa, whoa, and he wouldn't. He wouldn't go forward. And come on, mate, come on. I'm not moving, I'm not moving. He wouldn't move. I had to squeeze past him and get him by the hand and pull him down the stairs because he said there was a white figure standing, staring at him as he came down the stairs, just looking up at him like that. And he absolutely was in pieces. Um, I looked up and what we saw was a ball of, a ball of fire, I just call it fire, coming down the stairs. Now, this is what I've got on camera, right? Oh. I've got on camera there, um, coming down the stairs. That's the first picture. Um, this is, oh god, this is the, the second picture, oh, where are we? Ah, uh, there's a second picture, that's in the doorway, floating off the floor. Now if we go back to the looking out and looking in, um, that is, that is basically across the third step. Were they taking pretty much sound all together? With as quick as I could flash it. Flash, 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 that's one after the other, one, two, room. Um, this here is my partner against the corner of the wall crapping herself. Look how big it went. Mm. It went to her. It went to her and then it broke away in waves. And then there's her having a brilliant time. Mm. Get me, get me the fuck out of here, <laughs> is what she said. This thing in this building takes affection to folk with illnesses, cancers, Diabetes is a cracker. I had some amazing stuff with folk with diabetes in here, and, and it'll go to you. It'll go to you. It, it's, it's like a, a mothering instinct. I don't know what it is, but it'll go to people who are ill, and uh, it, it constantly happens. People with illnesses 
this thing will show us. As I said, the church is next door. We set a camera up, pointing out towards the stairs. What I did was, went on the other side of the wall, set up cameras, set up cameras this side, and I sat inside the church, and I got nothing. <laughs> and I did it again, and again, and again, I got nothing. You gotta understand, this is like fishing. You can have all the best bait, all the best cameras, everything you could possibly want, but you get nothing. It happens just, when you're least expecting. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I got the key, went in the church. So I got my phone and just went clish, kadish, 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 right round, right round, right round, right round. And um, I, I felt really unwelcome. I felt that I was not meant to be in this place. There was a horrible feeling to the place. And I got out, and you get it in here. I've opened the door, come in here, and gone, whoa. And I walked out again. I'll go, I'll give it half an hour. I'll give it half an hour. Because the place changes, mm -hmm. the, the temperature. You feel it. But anyway, I got back to my camera, and this is this is what I got. Right, absolutely nothing. It's too dark. I'm not getting enough flash on my camera because it's just my camera. Um, there's there's a clock, and that's a balcony upstairs. It's a balcony upstairs. That's uh, the upstairs balcony again. I knew it was in that direction. I knew it was in that direction. And then I got this one. What do you see there? That is that is on the other side of that doorway. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna brighten that picture the best I can. There we go. Oh. Now that's unmistakably. Is that your stomach? No. Huh? It was something growling mm -hmm. or something through that wall. Mm -hmm. I thought it was your stomach. It honestly wasn't. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. yeah. It just went. Well, I'm not even hungry. And we're just talking about it through there. Yeah. Smelling them. No. I thought it reminded me like vanilla. Oh. I just want some matches. It's tobacco. Mm. Caroline, give us a wee shout down once you've settled. Right. I'm going to sit down here. Right. I've got a feeling that there's here. You don't feel comfortable over there? I just feel that there's something here. Like, it, see when I was standing there and the guy had uh, my thumbs and my wrist and the thing? Uh, I'm sure something was behind me. I just felt this really freezing cold presence behind me. I'll try to keep an eye on the doorway. You ready? Just a bit. <laughs> That's a spirit making that noise. That's a spirit making that noise.
Is that you? No. I thought that was you as well. No, it's it's just... God. That was the same noise again that I think we heard downstairs, was it? It sounded like someone going, oh, oh, oh. Aye, it was like a kind of... Like a gargoyle laugh. Was that you? No. I thought that was you as well. No, it's just God. That was the same noise again that I think we heard downstairs, was it? It sounded like someone going, oh, oh, oh. Aye, it was like a kind of... Keep the light off. Right, if there's anything here... Oh, they said it the Make yourself aware to us. Come on, you sounds like you've been quite active in the past. Why not be active now? Come on. Make yourself aware to us. Can easily be done in here. Prove to us, come on, prove to us. Prove to us that you're here. You've got a plenty of opportunity in here. You've done it in the past. Throw something, move something. Or if you want to be funny, touch one of us. playing with the pipes. Are you playing with the pipes? Is that your wee joke? Are you walking? Yeah. I just moved a wee bit. Better still ring the bell. Hmm? Hey? I'm asking it to ring the bell. I do something, come on! Come on, do something. There's here. footsteps up here. What? We can hear footsteps, but I don't know if it's yours. No, we haven't moved. Turn a page in the Bible. Get angry with it. I mean, it was what God's work, church work, that punished you. Come on, if you've done it in the past, you can do it again. Come on. Even if you want us to go, make a noise. 
Give us some sort of sign. Something. Give us some sort of sign. Something. Give us some sort of sign. Something. Now, is that you? No. No. <laughs> in my hand with something to torture you and hurt you to confess something that you maybe didn't want to confess so obviously you hate this now if I bang once with this object that hurt you Bang back. Come on. This. Hurt you. And tortured you. Sure, you must be angry at what went on and what happened. Let us know that you're angry, that you hate this thing. You're angry, show us that they were wrong. They should never have been treated the way you were treated back then. And because of what they've done, they get angry because of it. It's a lot noisier up here, isn't it? Oh, sure. It's a windy day, or... Mm. Kind of it's like weak tapping noises back, can't you? Where's a good place to put...
filmed at least if you were sitting still. Doing no, it's fine with that, so I'm going to take forties. Once I put the light out, I'm going to start the deck to one. You can't leave your happy call now, yeah. Right, one, two, three. If there's anybody in here, could you make a noise? Could you let yourself be known to us? Our collective energies type of thing. Mm. If I knock, can you repeat the sound? Just do it back. Come on, make a noise. Chris, my life is it? Could you make a noise or could you touch one of us? Use our collective energy to make a bang. Could you touch one of us?
and he puts a sign on the next saying, For sale! <laughs> <laughs> he sold his wife! <laughs> 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 <laughs>